Hi guys. You see this? It's insane. I know it is. Each one of these is an online learning platform where you can learn how to program. But I actually think the fact that there are so many of them is a barrier to doing just that. It's, it's customer overload. It's like walking down the cereal aisle at the grocery store. Like, where do you start, right? Obviously you start with the fruity pebbles. But after that, where do you, where do you start? So in this video, uh, my goal is to deconfuse you. That's not a word. Uh, my goal is to demystify your confusion. Demystify your confusion. Wouldn't you want to remove the confusion? I want to bring clarity to. I'm look. I'm just going to clear it up. I'm going to. I'm going to explain the use cases for why you would use these websites by grouping them into categories. If anyone tells you these are the top 10 best websites to learn programming, it's not true because it's subjective. It has to do with your learning style, uh, what you can afford, what you have time for. And so I think the best way to go about this is to group them into categories so that you understand when to use them and you can begin to make those decisions for yourself. So let's get started. Let's get into these categories, uh, but before we do, I just want to encourage you guys to subscribe to this channel. I intend to keep on putting out meaningful, valuable content that is actually helpful to you guys. Uh, so after you subscribe, please, please, in the comments, let me know what type of content, what type of questions you want to see answered on this channel. Uh, one of the upcoming videos I intend to do will be showing my developer resume. Uh, I think my resume, well not I think, I'm positive. It played a absolutely tremendous part in helping me to get interviews. Um, even the ones that I actually didn't get job offers for, uh, it was enlarged the resume. Uh, I don't use a you know, Microsoft template or anything like that. Uh, I actually use a resume builder and the template is formatted to specifically highlight developer skills. Uh, so you will only get that if you are subscribed to the channel. So go ahead and hit that button so you don't miss out on that video. Now, categories. These are not mutually exclusive. There's definitely overlap between them. And that's because so many sites offer a ton of tools and resources for learning. Uh, the most important thing is to not get into this state of paralysis by analysis, where the only thing you're learning is what sites are good for learning. Uh, really, you just have to start. And that's actually the first category. What websites are good for just getting you up and running and learning with very minimal effort, very minimal cost, if any. Uh, and there are a few sites that are really good at doing that. W3Schools and TutorialPoint.com are both websites I used a lot when I first started programming. And I actually still use both of them quite a bit today. They legitimately have documentation on nearly any programming language that you would be interested in learning. W3Schools has interactive exercises that help you to learn as you go and is a really great site when you need a quick refresher. Tutorial Point is actually pretty similar. There's been a few times where I thought I was on one of the sites, but I was really on the other. The difference is Tutorial Point does offer courses and subscriptions which start out at just $9 a year. If you just want to read up on a programming language to see if it's something you'd enjoy, both of these sites are great options. Khan Academy offers a number of courses, not only in programming, but quite a few other subjects as well. I've always found their courses to be pretty well designed and easy to follow, and they're free. Free Code Camp, as the name implies, is of course free, and is well known in the developer community for creating well designed tutorials ranging from beginner level topics all the way to advanced. They also offer interactive content to test your knowledge. And lastly, Code Academy is an interactive platform that offers free coding classes in a number of languages. In addition, the site offers a paid pro option that gives users access to personalized learning plans, quizzes, and projects. The sites on this list were chosen because they're straightforward and easy to use. They won't overwhelm you with too many choices, but they still provide reliable content. So those are your starter websites. Like I said, don't waste too much time trying to figure out which one you should take. They each require very little upfront commitment. The best advice I can give you is to just pick one and get started. 
This next group of educational platforms offers a more comprehensive approach to your learning, and they're really targeted at people who are serious about becoming software developers. Most of them offer a more traditional approach to learning with coursework, assignments, due dates, and readings, uh, and that comes at a higher price. But in exchange, you get access to expert instructors and assistants who can help you learn along the way. First up is Udacity, which is a personal favorite of mine. I took their full stack developer course when I was first transitioning into programming and I definitely think it was worth it. They do offer free courses, but the true value comes from the courses that are a part of their nano degree program. Course subjects include artificial intelligence, autonomous systems, and cloud computing. Many of the courses in this program were developed in partnership with tech companies to provide students with the individual skills necessary to get jobs in tech. Their program provides career services, mentor support, and guidance from industry experts. Courses can cost as much as $1,200, so you should definitely make sure you want to do it before you start. EDX has a massive online course library and was created by Harvard and MIT. It hosts online university level courses and a wide range of disciplines with some courses at no charge. More than 150 schools and organizations offer courses on the EDX website. Courses consist of weekly learning, exercises, online textbooks, and discussion forums where students can chat with other students and teaching assistants. Educative.io is one of the sites on this list that I haven't tried, but in doing research for this video, I was really impressed with the content and I will absolutely be trying it in the near future. The site provides interactive and adaptive courses for developers with pre-configured environments. That means more time coding and less time dealing with setting up your programming environment. They also offer collaboration forums for their users and a 30-day return policy, which is pretty nice. Coding Dojo is a technology education company that offers three full-stack coding boot camps to prepare students for the job market. Courses can be taken in data science or other emerging technologies and they have a number of campuses around the country, which includes Chicago, Dallas, and Los Angeles. They also offer an online option for students who don't have access to campuses. Their goal is really to help you think like a software engineer. For this one, you have to apply and then set up an interview with one of the Coding Dojo staff members. Coursera is another platform that offers courses in a university-style format. Courses can last anywhere from 4 to 12 weeks with video lectures, quizzes, exercises, and graded assignments. As of 2017, Coursera began offering full master's degrees. Each one of those sites will prepare you to get into the software industry. But as I said, you want to make sure that you're committed and dedicated before you actually take those courses. The last thing you want to do is spend $1,200 to find out you don't enjoy programming. This next group of websites is what I'll refer to as the one-off category. Whether you are a beginner programmer or advanced, these sites are good for finding courses on a particular topic. They normally have a ton of reviews and you can choose the courses accordingly. Of all the websites I discuss in this video, Udemy is the one I use by far the most. It's pretty much my go-to site whenever I need to learn something quickly. The fact that Udemy has such a large number of users allows you to reliably find courses with trusted instructors. Some days you might visit the site and see courses priced at $200, but I'll let you in on a secret. The courses go on sale regularly. That means a $200 course will often be priced at $10. Seriously, don't ever pay full price. Pluralsight is very similar to Udemy. In addition to a large library of courses, they offer many courses which are great for refreshing your knowledge and picking up random skills. In addition, they offer skills tests to track your progress. I'm going to go ahead and be a complete nerd about this next one. O'Reilly is pretty much my new favorite educational platform. They're associated with the O'Reilly publications that cover a number of programming topics. In addition to interactive tutorials and courses, they have a number of books that are actually read by the authors on video. That might sound boring, but I promise you, you will never be more entertained while listening to someone read about clean coding principles. Skillshare, like Udemy and Pluralsight, offers a number of courses in various subjects. PACT, I think that's how you pronounce it, 
is an education company that publishes a number of online courses and publications that can be viewed on their website. But you'll often find their content on sites like Udemy as well. This last group of websites is focused around programming challenges and interview prep. There are a number of big tech companies that require you to take programming tests before you can even get in for an interview. So these sites help to prepare you for that process. I won't go into too much detail about these sites, but HackerRank, Code Wars, LeetCode, and Algo Expert all offer programming challenges to help build upon your coding experience and improve your problem solving skills. One noticeable difference is that LeetCode and Algo Expert place an emphasis on helping you to understand algorithms, data structures, and other complex concepts, especially Algo Expert, which requires a membership. Algo Expert's goal is to prepare you for intense coding interviews. I'm talking about Facebook, Amazon, you know. And it's my favorite one on this list. Lastly, this one really didn't fit into any of those categories, but I love interactive tools and this one offers an interactive approach to learning Git, which I personally think consumes way too much of developers' time. If you're unfamiliar with Git, this site will definitely cut down on the time it takes to learn it. You should definitely check this one out. And that pretty much sums up this video on educational resources to learn programming. Uh, hopefully you are deconfused, uh, the confusion is demystified, and hopefully I have brought clarity to your life. Uh, maybe not to your life, that's a little extreme, but hopefully I brought clarity to this subject. Whatever the case, let me know what you thought, whether you agree, disagree, let me know in the comments. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial on Esoteric Tech. Thanks for watching.